So if this is angle X, sine X opposite, from here you can see opposite is 3, right? Over hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is 5. Now what will be the length of this third side of this right angle triangle? When you know two sides of a right angle triangle, to get the third side, you just simply use Pythagoras theorem. And when you do that, you get this to be 4, right? Now we know all sides of this right angle triangle. And so we can tell what tan x would be. Tan x is opposite over adjacent. Opposite is 3, adjacent is 4. And then cos x would be adjacent, which is 4, over hypotenuse. So 4 over 5. Now we know all trig ratios. We can simply replace them in this expression so that tan x plus 2 cos x is equal to tan x is what? 3 over 4 plus 2 cos x is what? 4 over 5. So we'd have 3 over 4 plus 2 times 4 is 8. We have 8 over 5. 3 over 4 plus 8 over 5. We look for the LCM of 4 and 5. That would be 20. 4 into 20 is 5. 5 times 3 is 15. 5 into 20 is 4 times 8 is 32. Now we have 15 plus 32, which is 47. Changing this to a mixed number, 20 will go into 47, 2 times, remaining 7, which 20 will still share. So the answer is 2 whole number, 7 over 20. If you enjoyed this video, then you also like the simplified Senior Wayek Maths video series where I give step-by-step -step explanation to over 300 past Senior Wayek Maths questions. Chat me up to get them now.